Hey there, I am back. It's been a while. I took a break and I went on a road trip. I had been putting this off, but um, I finally needed a break. And I got in my car with no plan and just went driving. And I left Portland, Oregon. I went through central and southern Oregon and then crossed into Nevada and stayed in Winnemucca, Nevada and uh, Tonopah for a couple nights. Stayed at the Clown Motel. You got to do that sometime in your life. You got to go to the Clown Motel. And then I drove through Beatty, Nevada and fed wild burrows. And that was so fascinating. Why are there wild burrows in Nevada? Because back in the mining days before there were big engines and stuff that could pull stuff there were donkeys burrows right 1800s early 1900s the burrows were set free and the ones that exist now are descendants from those burrows stayed a couple nights in las vegas and made my way to Arches National Park. Bonneville Salt Flats, where land speed records are set. And I uh, got a little bit more Nevada when I went through Wells and Elko, and then made my way to Meridian, Idaho, and then back home to Portland, Oregon. I met some of the greatest people, saw landscapes that I'd never seen before. That's where I've been and hopefully you've had a nice time since I've been away. But now let's get back into Excel. Picking up from the last video, I only walked through the process, but I wanna go back and show you something specific, something that I think is really cool that you need to see. Here's the data. We've got the days and the drivers. Day seven, Brooke and TJ were the only drivers, but we wanna split this apart. I need to clarify. The problem is not just to split this once, that's easy. The challenge is when the number of columns needs to change. When we've got more than we originally had or less, we need this dynamic. Ready? Here we go. Cursor in the data set, right click. Get data from sheet. Here's our first step. Highlight the driver column, split column by delimiter, split it by custom, split it by comma space, and split it into rows. Okay, now we group by, go here. We're gonna group by the day and get a count of the rows, okay. Six drivers on day six, three drivers on day 10. What we're gonna do next, sort this descending, and then reduce rows, keep rows, keep top rows, keep the first row. Okay, right click here, remove other columns, right click, drill down. I'm gonna call this H count for header count. Now this is what I want you to see. I'm in the home tab. New source, other sources, blank query equals curly bracket one dot dot and then H count. Enter. This is gonna be our headers query. I've got to turn this into a table. No separator needed. Close this. 
add a column, add a custom column equals driver, close the double quotes. Okay, with custom highlighted, I'm gonna hold down the control key, select this column, merge columns, no separator. Got it, right click, remove other columns, and then I've gotta turn this back into a list. Transform, convert to list. Now I'm gonna load everything that I've done so far. Close and load. Go back to the source data, right click. Get data from sheet. Highlight, split column, by delimiter. Split it by the comma space. Okay, get rid of this change type step. look at this formula let's look at the queries we need headers okay I'm gonna get rid of everything in these curly brackets this is the hard-coded junk that creates the problem delete headers boom Get rid of this change type step. We've got our six drivers. All right. Close and load to existing worksheet. Let's put it right here. Okay. Now let's change the data. Got new data. I'm gonna slide over here a bit. Data refresh. It's all there. We got a seventh driver. We got a new row of data. But what if the data shrinks? Let's check that out. Here we go. One, two, three. Perfect. That's how it's done, all right? See you in the next video.